Hello beautiful people. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Faith Brill TV. For those of you that have seen my face before, my subscribers, welcome back. I love you guys. I love you like no more business. So another ginger my swag. So we are back again in Faith Kitchen. What are we cooking today? Today is Sunday. Ha! Ah. I've eaten breakfast on bed made by my boo boo. So I've rested. Yesterday was a very busy day. I rested today. So now I'm coming to cook. What am I cooking? We'll be eating heavy swallow. It's like a lunch stroke dinner. So after it, you still feel like eating something. You can eat banana. You can drink, uh, drink orange. You can just, but. First, we are going to eat heavy food and this swallow we are going to be swallowing which soup guess can you guess can you guess which soup are we using we are going to be using bitter leaf soup the one the evil people call onubu is what we are going to be using today and today i'm going to be showing you the main ingredients the thickener for the soup and i always switch so i'm going to be showing you today First, I use cocoa yam. You see, cocoa yam. I've washed this, but I need to put water and boil it. It can take an hour or so to boil. Then, after boiling, I'm going to blend it. I will show you the process how it goes. I use this. Then, I will just add a bit of this. This is archi, archi powder. So, I add a bit of this to. Or you can also use only this as the thickener, but I always like to mix both. It gives a very unique taste. So, the time that I don't have time to go to city to buy this, what do I use? Then I use this because this I always have at home. I will use this. So today's soup, I will be showing you when I'm using this one how I mix it. And when I'm using this, how I mix and how I add actually, no matter the ones I'm using, whether I'm using this or I'm using the fresh cocoa yam, I will still add this to it. Sometimes I just use only this, but I always like to add the two. You just give it a different taste. So, after showing now, I've shown you the cocoa yam and everything. We are using goat meat. See, this kind of meal. You see the goat meat I'm using, the one without the skin. Because sometimes I get that one with the skin, African shop, then I mean, I'll get some, it's have a very, too much strong smell. I don't like it. I eat with my eyes, with my nose, then with my mouth. So anything that have too much strong smell, it's not for me. That is why I don't cook with uh, ogiri, with varie, or what did the Yoruba call it? I don't know, I forgot. So I don't cook with it because I like my food not to smell that, that strong smell. No, no, no. <sighs> Faith, stop talking. Let's start cooking. So I'll be using the goat meat, like I said before. I'll be using stock fish. This stock fish, I have soaked it overnight. I washed, then I just scatter it. There are some stock fish that are very strong, like this one. See the see how i got it it's very strong so i soaked it with hot water overnight now i've washed it i'm pouring it because i'll be boiling it with the with the meat this is our bitter leaf i'm using dry bitter leaf this was sent to me from nigeria from my mom so i'm going to boil it a little bit then wash it take out if there is sand you know when they after washing they dry sometimes sand can get into it we are going to be using bitter leaf we are going to be using blended crayfish i blend this myself and i pour it here i'm going to be using some dry pepper you can also use some fresh pepper what do they call it english people scotch bonnet yeah i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly so, but I'll be using the dry pepper. I'll be using my beef bouillon. 
here is it see beef volume i'll be using to season the meat and i'll be using salt don't be tempted to use onions this is a traditional soup don't put onions in it but if you still want to put onions no problem do you no onions no chicken you can use meat beef shaki pomo cow skin is pomo and shaki what do they call it? is it cow stripes or what i don't know and oh, i love fish i cannot do without fish that's my mackerel that i've dried in the air fryer so i'll be adding my mackerel so now we are going to dive into cooking first thing i'm going to do is to put water on my cocoa yam and start cooking my cocoa yam start to cook and my meat Okay, I'm going to add my, my seasoning cube. Oh, it's hard. Hard, 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 hard. Adding, adding, adding. Salt. Pepper. I want that pepper to go inside the mix. a bit of water Well, then now my tally. Put water on my metallic. Put it on. Okay. Our soup has Time been. for us to add water. Okay. I put the water <clears throat> same size, same level. So after adding water, now I need to test again for the salt so that the meat will have taste. Not just the soup we have taste but also the meat please if you cannot gauge with your eye you can be putting bits by bits gauge your salt i'll be cooking since the age of nine so i know how to gauge my salt <clears throat> why this is cooking See my cocoa yam on the other side is cooking. I boiled my bitter leaf. Now it's time for me to wash. Okay, too much smoke. Why our meat is ready? 
I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you if you are using the the powder coco yam and achi to cook the bitter leaf soup. I'm going to show you the process now and show you the other process when you are using the fresh coco yam that you have to boil and blend yourself. The coco yam is still not ready, it's still cooking. That's why the, when you use the powder one, it's more faster, much easier. But if you want to use the fresh one, it takes a bit longer. But I'm going to show you, but the coco yam is still not ready. So I'll be taking this pot from the fire and putting another pot to show you the process when you are using the powder coco yam. So now, Taking our meat pot from the fire and put the. I'm going to share. just to show you okay this part will be keeping for the kokoyam the white kokoyam that is still cooking using this method oh too much smoke see my fish adding it now my crayfish now I'll take my powder cocoa I put it so Take my achi, I add it to the together with the kokoyam because I like to miss it. But if you if if it's just the kokoyam powder you are using, it's the same process, not to change. Then I take my misa, I put water there. I just use my Nisa to mix it. See? You see the paste? When you are using the blended cocoyam, it's still going to you are still going to blend it like this. So now I add it to the soup. I add to the soup. Some people use, um, they can also use uh, oatmeal, they blend it, 
while it's boiling, dissolving into the soup. Then I add my palm oil to the soup. our soup and then now you can see the consistency if it's coming too thick it's too thick you can add water to it see the place where I mix it with I just use the water to wash out the rest that is there add it into the soup then add your bitter leaf i boil the because mine was a dry bitter leaf you can use the fresh one I boil a little bit, I wash, take out all the sun. Just add my bitter leaf. This remaining bitter leaf I will be using in the other pot. Just cover it. So you know it's the same thing for me the same taste whether you use the fresh coco yam you use the powder coco yam i like to use achi and coco yam together i like i just love the mist you how it tastes but you can use only the achi you can also use only the powder coco yam in same way just mix it before pouring it inside see our cocoa yam is still cooking not yet ready why our soup here is almost ready hey see, see our soup our soup has been cooking see see our so now you stir you see the consistency because by the time you off the gas and it comes to a room temperature the soup is going to be thick again so now you test and see mm. Let me add a bit of salt. Always test. Onungu soup is ready, 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 ready. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is how you do it with the powder cocoa yam. Our cocoa yam is ready. You see how soft it is. You see, it's time for us to blend now. I'm going to put off the gas. See? I'm 
going to be dipping my hand inside this cold water to be able to peel the cocoa because when you leave it to become cold then it will be stronger have to it's hot but when you leave it to cool down a bit but don't allow it to get cold like when it get cold 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 it's a bit difficult Okay, one of the reasons I like to use the simple way, I don't want to go through the distance because of the sea. See my cocoa, this one, they are not good. See, yeah, like chocon, 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 they are not good. And the ones that are good, see, I already put here. If you have uh, the mortar, so you can pound and pound till it's smooth but i don't have i just cut it and now i'm going to blend it into paste now our cocoa is ready i added water <clears throat> to the meat stock so because of that i'll be adding another bouillon to it And now I'll be adding my dry fish. Adding my crayfish, blended crayfish. I'll be adding more pepper. There's no pepper. So there. and test. We add in salt because I add more water. It's a big pot of soup. We'll be putting in the in the freezer. Okay, this is good now. Check out our cocoa yam that has been blended. This is a part of it. These are the rest. Now it's time for me to be pouring it inside the pot. It's very light because I blend and adding water to it but if you pound it with mortar it will not be this light time for me to add my palm oil
generous amount. Like I told you, I always bathe with my eyes. Look at the one that I make through the other process. You see, it doesn't have nothing like excess oil there. Just bathe with your eyes. Leave it to boil. Like I said before, the cocoa yam like this is all you need. But me, I just like to add a bit of achi to it. So, this is the time I'm missing my achi. I just love that unique taste of the achi. Put water on it. going to dissolve properly let it boil I'm now putting my bitter leaf all of them are going to cook together cook cook together Leaf soup, some of the cocoa yam are still dissolving, they have not properly see cocoa yam is sitting on top of the meat, they are still dissolving. You see, this are cocoa yam still dissolving, melting to join with the soup by the time it's all mix out and the soup is ready you will see the consistency it will be lovely see these are some of the <laughs> see the cocoa yam they are still melting out as it's cooking the cocoa yam will be dissolving if you see maybe you didn't gauge it well and your soup is already thick the way you want it and some of the cocoa yam are still not dissolved you can take them out you can take them out but i'm still going to leave them to dissolve so you see whether you use the powder cocoa yam boiled cocoa yam or you use a or you use oatmeal it doesn't really matter it doesn't you can use any of those to thicken your soup the main ingredients for the soup is the is the bitter leaf you can switch you can use powder cocoa yam look at my cocoa yam still melting you can use powder cocoa yam you can use uh, achi. I think there is another one they use of four, but I've never used of four as a thickener. I've never used oatmeal as a thickener. What I use is achi powder, cocoa yam, and the boiled one. 
that's what i've been using so i hope you like this soup this recipe it's very very yummy see i'm boiling my water on the other hand that i'm going to be using to turn the pandemia mm. to give my gas space <clears throat> i'm just going to be adding the two soup together so i can clean up my other pot i just want to show you the outcome you see the the same looks everything <laughs> oh my god i'm just adding it now the both soup together and it's a big pot of soup i need to share it and put it in the freezer Mm. Okay, time for pandarian. See our soup is cooking. I like my bitter leaf more sauce than the leaf. Then it's easier for my kids to swallow. If the leaf is too much, they don't want to be chewing and they don't want anything to distract them from swallowing that they have to be chewing the pandaria. But when it's like this, it's easy for them to use it to swallow. So do what's best for you. And my bitter leaf, you see, because it's the one that my mom washed, pound. That's why it's like this. But when you go to African shop to buy, sometimes it intend to come bigger, long, 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 long. It will not be this smooth. See? Oh, see? Our Bitali soup is ready. This is the consistency I want. By the time you put up the gas, the room, the soup come to a room temperature, it will pick more. Thank you for watching. And join me later for the swallow. I'm still cooking my pandaria. Okay. After a hard work, somebody need to eat to refill the tank. So, you guys are going to join me now to come and eat. Can you see the food? Oh no. Can I see the food? Oh, see? Here is the food. See, see my bitterly soup. Oh, wait. Want me to hammer this now, now, now. Finish cooking our bitterly soup. Now, it has turned to mukbang. Okay. Who could shop? Hmm? Oh, Father, we thank you for this food. Bless and sanctify this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Who is ready to eat? Are you ready? Want to eat? Want to eat? Ah, ah, ah. Mm, mm. Mm. Bye bye, people. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, and comment, and see you in another video. Bye-bye.